Good morning sheep fans, my name is Cameron Wilson and welcome to the sheep game. In today's video I'm going to be trimming the feet of an incredible breed of sheep often referred to as the cutest in the world. So sit back, relax and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Cheers guys. And see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do You and I can weather any storm The black nosed sheep originates from the Valley Canton of Switzerland. Native to the Upper Valley region, the black nose graze in the Alps in the summer months June to September and are usually housed in the winter due to the harsh conditions on the mountains. There is evidence that the black nose has existed since the 15th century, however they have changed greatly in appearance over the years and apparently once resembled the likes of the Scottish blackface. Over time characteristics have evolved to the incredible looking sheep we see here today. The breed has very strict standards regarding markings, conformation and wool. Only sheep who pass through a thorough inspection by a judge can be sold at society sales. We're going to see plenty of them in this video, so let's get on to the reason why we're here. In Scotland we would just call a sheep's foot, we would just call it a yow's fit. <laughs> so welcome to the yow's fit GP. No Cammy, the GP stands for Graham Parker. Oh aye, I was thinking like a doctor. Um, welcome to the Yow's Fit CW. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's just not as good. It's not as good. Welcome to the sheep game. So this is the flock of sheep that we are going to be hoof trimming today. Very much going for the old Hoof GP inspired video today. The guy is absolutely smashing it. Graham Parker, if any of you haven't seen the Hoof GP, have a look. Some of you pure sheep men might never have watched it because it's trimming cattle's feet. I don't even like cows, but the way he does it, he is a master. So of course I'm jumping on the bandwagon, inspired Hoof GP video. I thought let's make it special. We're at a fantastic setup here of Valley Black Nose Sheep. They're running around a flock of around 20 females. Tom, the farmer here, likes the feet done regularly because all winter they're on a straw bed, which isn't great for sheep's feet. The straw can uh, compact and build up within the cleats and cause issues. So. As a way of combating that and keeping the sheep in tip top condition, he does the feet every month to six weeks, trimming off the excess hoof and putting them through the foot bath with some copper sulphate, which is great for fighting bacteria in the feet. Similar to a lot of boys that work with Graham will be doing with their cattle, they'll be regularly through the foot bath and they'll reg regularly, I can't say that now, they'll routinely be getting him in to trim back the feet and make sure everything's okay. And that's essentially what we're going to do today. But the only difference is, I don't have a big fancy crush and I don't have a big grinder like he does. We've just got some hoof trimmers and Jock. Jock's back again. Jock's here for some brute force. We have plenty of staff. John's here too and Tom the farmer is also here. Plenty of us. Now just to explain a bit to you about the Valley Black Nose Sheep. These sheep are lambing at the moment and most of them have lambed. You'll see here some of the lambs 
that have been born, how cute they are. I mean, let's be serious. They are the world's cutest sheep. If anyone disputes it, let me know in the comments. I don't know every breed of sheep that's out there. I didn't even know about these sheep until two or three years ago when they became quite big in the UK and across the world. But that all comes with a price. They're an expensive breed of sheep. These females here that you're looking at would be selling for around £5,000. And the father of these lambs that you're looking at would similarly be selling for around £5,000 to £10,000 for a sheep that meets the top grades. So you had a little bit of information there about the Valley Blacknose breed and what an interesting breed it is. Let's get them penned up, get them on the table and get a look at these feet. And let's discuss some of the finer points of sheep foot care. So as I said, I don't have a fancy crush like Graham has. I have... I don't even have this, this is Tom's. But this is a, a dressing stand and we'll show you this in a minute. Farmers that show sheep will use a stand like this for dressing their sheep and making them look all fancy pre-sale. It's a fantastic thing, it holds the sheep's head nice and still and the two bars at the side there hold the sheep from falling off the sides and it lets you dress them. And what we're going to do is we're going to try putting them on that and lifting their feet similar to you would with a horse or a cow but without the big crush. Just need to get the sheep in here. Somebody's got to lock the camera. So. I don't want to go on, it's Albert. Ah. <laughs> so the hardest part's getting them on the stand to begin with. Luckily, they have a couple of big handles. <laughs> so that's mum up on the gate. She's shouting there for her lamb, but she's only going to be away for the lamb for a few moments while we do the feet. Tom is giving the feet a wash down here. Again, similar to the wood with the, the cow's feet, if they were wanting to have a proper look at it, they'll give it a wash down. So here we have an example of how the hoof has grown too long because it has not been worn away naturally as it would if the sheep was outside on harder ground. This is actually quite a common problem that we have with sheep in the west of Scotland during the winter months as the fields are incredibly wet and the ground is very soft. Therefore, keeping on top of foot problems can feel like a never-ending task to many. This foot is healthy and is not causing the sheep any pain, so some may think it is unnecessary to be trimming the foot at all. This is where this job with these sheep is very similar to cattle hoof trimming as it's all about maintenance and trying to prevent lameness in the flock. We now know from experience at this farm that if we leave these feet more than six weeks between trimming then they grow excessively long and lameness starts becoming a problem in the flock. One other reason why these feet seem to grow at a much faster rate than most commercial sheep is that they are on a special diet which keeps them thriving all year round. A side effect of that is that their hoofs grow incredibly fast. Then. We start working on a sheep that the farmer has told me has been seen limping on her front right foot. I must apologise for the excessive light that ruins the picture quality. I thought it would help, but obviously I was wrong. You win or you learn. So as soon as I pick this foot up, I can see her right cleat is larger than the left and I can feel some heat coming from the foot. This is usually a good indicator of infection of some kind within the foot. I start by trimming the better looking left side to find a level for the foot. I then tackle the problem side. 
I'll skip this on as I speak. The lighting ruins the shot a little bit and it also takes me a long time to slowly chip away at the hoof. With my own sheep, I would not trim a lame sheep unless the hoof was so excessively long that it was detrimental to the recovery of the foot. If she has foot rot or other bacterial infection, I will treat with antibiotics and if she just has mild scald, then I will run her through a foot bath solution. More often than not, I think you do more harm than good trying to trim a sore foot and I've found that using the correct antibiotics will clear up infections within a few days without trimming. That said, as I mentioned before, these sheep are a bit of an exception as they are housed and the freak grow at such a rate that in this instance I opted to trim the foot and open up the problem area to let the air at it and clear out some compacted straw and dung which had built up. It would be interesting to hear your thoughts on this subject and how you tackle feet problems in your flock of sheep. I am no expert and these ramblings are just all my own opinion so I am very open to hearing your views. So as I work away at this foot, really trying not to cut too deep and cause the sheep any more discomfort, I noticed that her left toe, which I initially thought was very healthy, was in fact also showing some signs of infection. I trim away at both toes until I feel that I have went as far as is safe. You can see this raw, sore flesh that is now exposed and off camera, this foot is covered in blue antibiotic spray and she is given a course of antibiotics as directed by the farm vet. Of the 20 plus sheep we have to do today, this is only one with any real problems and the rest just needed some routine maintenance and trimming. I did it again. I did not film an ending for that video. So this is me here just now. I hope you enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up. And you did click that subscribe button, didn't you? See you for the next one. What's a sheep's foot called? A hoof? No, a sheep. Cleat? A, a fit? Just a fit? No, Cammy. The, <laughs> so the GP stands for Graham Parker. See that? <laughs> GP stands for Graham Parker. See, no, Cammy, the, the GP stands for Graham Parker. So, welcome to the Yow's Fit GP. No, Cammy, the GP stands for Graham Parker. Oh, aye, I was thinking like a doctor. Um, welcome to the Yow's Fit CW. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's just not as good. It's not as good. Welcome to the sheep game.